<laughs> the S word and the N word. What's the N word? What? She likes to use the N word a lot. I don't think it's her, it's me. She's a decent woman. She's a clean woman. I don't think of her as the N word, I don't. Dude, what? Today we're looking at a something that happened that I saw on TV when I was a kid. I write back in 2005. My mom used to watch the dumbest shows that there were probably like many of your moms as well. And there was a show called Wife Swap, which is just the strangest premise ever. Why was it ever a good idea? I don't know. Why did they do it? I don't know. She hardly ever sees her kids. She's either sleeping till noon or gambling in the casino till four o'clock in the morning. Needless to say, there was a couple disasters in the show. A couple huge fiascos. A couple of fandangos, if you will. I might have to get involved. The basic premise is wives are swapped between two families and it just it's terrible. It's stupid and doesn't make any sense. TLC before TLC was cool. The specific episode we're looking at today saw the trading of the mothers and wives between the Wiggins family and the Felix family. This is probably the most problematic, which I don't really like using that word. It's the most insane, egregious episode of the show and maybe any show really that ever aired on reality TV. Wouldn't fly now but it wasn't that long ago, it was only 15 years ago. The pictures on the wall are of black people and white people wouldn't have that hanging on their wall. Right, 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 right. Opens up, you can see where this is going, all right? It only gets worse too. This whole thing is a solid spiral. Is it clean? No bedtime, no chores. And she likes to use the N word a lot. I don't think it's her. It's me. Just horrible. This is obviously a, a black family, I, but they seem like they are clean. Okay, so... <laughs> what are you... This is in 2005. This is 2005, not... 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 1930. This is 2005. Overprotective Nisi smothers her teenage sons, needing to know where they are every minute of the day. Bill is a former Marine sergeant who runs the house like boot camp. And the Felix family. And the Felix family. Blatantly racist. Also, how about that terrible, just almost 90s, like fresh out of the 90s reality TV show intro. Today, we're looking at something that you probably won't care about, but we're going to make sure you do. We're going to infect every single aspect of your life with stuff that doesn't matter and you shouldn't care about, but we will make you care about it and we will force you to watch advertisements while you do. Also, <laughs> you know, I don't really know. That was the ad, that was like Coca-Cola, you know, as opposed to RC Cola, which I would gladly take money from. I love RC Cola. Comment down below if you love RC Cola. RC Cola gang, rise up. <laughs> and the Felix family. Vicky spends more time at the casino than she does with oh, her kids. And unemployed dad Jeremy runs the house like a zoo. Oh, okay. Their five and nine year olds stay up late into the night as they don't have a bedtime. Wow. Seems really awesome. Classic white family versus classic black family. Who will win in this episode of Wife Swap? By the way, the white people suck. You could have found a family of <laughs> losers that isn't also racist, you know? You didn't have to find some <laughs> a family that looks like they're holed up in a, on Ruby Ridge waiting for the ATF to come knocking in. A new husband, new children, and a new life. Nice, that sounds like fun. They swap lives for two weeks. Oh, no. he telling me to talk, talk to, to the, the hand. hand. That's disrespecting <laughs> an adult. Bam! It was a different time. I'm not condoning hitting children, but it was a different time. I do condone this, though. I think you're just ignorant, period. He's ignorant, period. This is going to be an extremely satisfying episode of television. Now television is fairly satisfying in that they ruin people's lives and they just blatantly make fun of people or put people in situations in which their personalities are irredeemable. This is like all borderline fights, all right? I'm pretty sure there was a harassment suit, by the way at the end of this, when this happened. Like, it, this this thing was terrible. This ended up to be a true Fandango. 
like I said. 15-year-old Breland and 18-year-old LB have to live by Nisi's rules, and she's on their Nisi. case 24-7. She always, like good always talking to me and my brother and asking us who we were, good. where we at, what time we gonna be home. LB and Breland. What are you doing? Where at? I'm 18 years old, and I still have a bad time. I imagine oh, LB and Breland are, uh, are doing extremely well now in their lives. This seems like an extremely healthy uh, parental relationship thus far. Discipline is good. Discipline is very good, especially in 2005. That's the key. Discipline now, not good. I spent half my life in the military and guided my life and my kids' upbringing Billy Wiggins. through military value. And that means surprise military yes. inspections of the boys' room. Yes. Oh, that's awesome. Uh, <laughs> oh. What is that? Give me 50 cents. Oh my God, dude. <laughs> Awesome. That is awesome. He got out the f white glove, the MJ glove. What's that, sir? Is that a speck of dust I found on your blinds? What's wrong with you, sir? Welcome to upstate New York. Yes. The white trash capital of the world. <laughs> Just because it's New York doesn't mean nothing. Thinks her family should have only one rule. There are no rules. You get away with anything. Was she watching on the TV? Yeah, it looked like she might have been watching a little or something like that on that on that television right there. That television set back in 2005. No bedtime, no chores. Oh, that's like Daddy of Five type no scenario. discipline. Look at them just beating each other up. Eric and Dill do say, you know, shut up, stupid. But I look at that as a form of self-expression. Did they just bleep a curse word with a boing sound? Did they just, did they just, did they just go <laughs> No way did they just hit us with the <laughs> boing. We had the kids, they didn't choose to have us. Therefore, we don't feel that they should have chores or a set bedtime. Well, that doesn't make any sense, you know? They even get to sleep wherever they want. Not that Vicky needs to worry. She hardly ever sees her kids. She's either sleeping till noon, working till wow. midnight in a call center, or gambling in the casino oh. till four o'clock in the morning. Literally just a couple human beings, a family that lives off short-term gratification and nothing else. No discipline, no long-term gratification, no investment, no reaping what you sow, just <laughs> flying through life, <laughs> hoping shit works out until you die. A lot of people live that way. I'm not here to, you know, impart any judgment on you, but I will never raise my kids like that. And I have about 15 of them. She I also love how they just Caesar put kids. in like She's banjos and, and like bluegrass Walking music as if this, this family is some kind of redneck family. They're from New York. Education and homework are not priorities in the Felix household. That sucks. Our children are in their rooms watching television or playing video games wow. seven to eight hours a day. That's awesome. <laughs> I'm gonna play this game. I'm gonna play this game. He's f playing up uh, Postal 2. <laughs> What's up, everybody? It's Critical. I'm playing Postal 2 Paradise Lost. I wonder what schools these kids went to after this. This is sad, though. Like, really. This is really sad. Can't believe this was TV. I have an eighth grade education. I didn't stay in school because. I hated school. Okay, that's fair. Since you know. he lost his job shoveling manure, unemployed Jeremy looks oh, nice. after the kids and does everything around the house. My guy has an eighth grade education. He's literally got an, he just said he had an eighth grade education and the reason that he left school was not to pursue a dream, but because he didn't like school. <sighs> now he's got two kids and now they're my age. Hopefully they're doing well. For the first time, the wives get to see where they'll be living for the Sweet next two limo. weeks. People live there? Now let's not be classist, all right? Now that's just a little, that's all, that's more f***ed up than racism, you know? Well, it's not, but it's as f***ed up as racism. Especially when you're punching down, you know? It's okay to be classist the other way, right? 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 Eat the rich, right? Before the wives meet their new family, they get to explore their new home. It's a nice little house. Oh. My. God. Jesus oh, Christ. so clean. Do they not live in here? Uh. This is obviously a, a black family. Yes. I, but they seem like they are clean. Oh, yes. He look like he's right. in control of the household, but I could be wrong. No, do they f*** ever or is it not that kind of life swap? <laughs> Did you hear the boing? Did you hear the boing sound effect? I was insinuating something naughty that I shouldn't have been insinuating. How do they prevent that, though? Because you know there's got to be like a, you know, like some kind of affair, right? 
right, on this? I don't know. I'm just maybe thinking too low of human beings. Each wife has written a manual as a guide to the running of their home. A manual. What? In comic <laughs> You're kidding me. She wakes up at five o'clock in the morning? Oh my God. I don't think I can do that. That's early. <laughs> I like to go to the casino as many times a week as possible. Wow, that's part of her itinerary. <laughs> I like to gamble on a daily basis every day from 1 p.m. to 2. I'll be gambling, generally speaking. Generally speaking, I'll be gambling out spending all the money for the college fund. Just kidding. There was no college fund. My boys are extremely well disciplined because we keep them on a tight leash. A nine and a five year old falls asleep around 1130 or wow. midnight. She went to the house. I, I used to go to bed at nine when I was a little kid. I used to get to bed at nine. I, ne I never got my ass whooped too much, but my parents raised me really well. I love my parents so much. You know, I'm very grateful for my parents. They didn't impart very much cleanliness into me though. But they did impart a big love. For God and my country, and a really long barreled, goofy ass looking pistol. I tell you what, just kidding. I'm not religious, and I think that America is steadily going downhill. But I do love my long barrel pistol. It's his white glove test to make sure everything is completely. The white glove clean. test. I'm gonna take that white glove and shove it up his stick ass. Stick it somewhere where the sun doesn't shine. Okay, that's yeah. I could have seen that coming. Wait, that's a sex thing. The S word and the N word. What's the N word? I would like to know that because it better not be what I think it's going to be. What? She likes to use the N word a lot. I don't think it's her. It's me. Nisi, when I first seen her, I can tell right off the bat. She's a decent woman. She's a clean woman. I don't think of her as the N word. I don't. Dude, what? This just took a f turn for the absolute worst. That is the craziest thing I've ever, s oh my God, dude. Look at the way he's sitting on the couch too. <laughs> of course. And they had him lit like a murderer, like Buffalo Bill. Wow, that's so sad, man. It's a shame that guy raised kids. Normally what happens if a white person call a black person a Oof. It's on. This hillbilly is stupid. Yeah. <sighs> I am so upset right now. Why would they condone this? Why would they sanction this? It's so stupid, man. Like, yeah, let's just go ahead and we know he's racist. We they could see in the manuscript that they that they use the like, why? It's so dumb, dude. Poor Nisi and Billy. Billy Wiggins needs to get over there and whoop this guy's ass. All right. Increasingly concerned about sharing a house with Jeremy. He just won't admit I'm that he's dumb. racist. And forget that he's someone who likes me. It's just the way I was raised. I, I'm not actually racist. I'm just dumb. I'm just dumb. I just dropped out of school to eighth grade. This hillbilly is stupid. And your child doesn't know what its real life is really about because you have that leash That's on not so true. tight. That's I not do true. see that he runs his kids kind of like little slaves. They're what? way over the top. That's, not, that's nothing like slavery. Discipline is literally the key. Discipline is the key to unlock every door. Anything you want to do in life, the only way it's possible, the great equalizer is discipline. That's a, that's a better way to, to, to put it. It's not the only way that it's possible. Obviously, some people get incredibly lucky, but being disciplined will allow you to get further than someone who's not disciplined, generally speaking. It is a great equalizer. Sometimes I feel uncomfortable when I'm around, you know, sir, some black people. Oh, I have a right, wall right, right. Because I think you have to prove yourself to me. Oh, right, 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 right. Because so... Cause all the, cause all the stuff that happened to uh, to, to you in upstate New York, all the, all the shit you have had to worry about in upstate New York. It's a very dangerous place up there. The f are you talking about? I cannot even imagine having that mindset and having that big of a f just racist chip on your shoulder. Literally just a big tater chip that just says, I'm racist piece of shit on it. It's kind of like one of those Sad things music. you don't realize what you have until it's gone. Oh yes. I, I miss, miss my, my family. family. Oh, I do not wow. get to spend a lot of time with my mom because she's either off to work or on the computer. I would like my mom to stay home with me more. Wow. At least her children can talk. I wasn't sure. I didn't hear him say much. This is a f train wreck. This whole show is such a train wreck. The final day of the swap, and the wives prepare to say their goodbyes. These are like the kind of the best moments of the entire series. All right, there's some crazy shit that happened. We're not gonna watch all of it. It's a long ass episode of TV, but generally speaking, the thing, the thing goes, and then they get really excited to meet back up with their family. And I just like, oh man, the Felixes are, 
gross, very gross, is really the only way to describe the milling word to properly describe the way that they acted in this entire thing. And the Wiggins acted like, I don't know, the future of America, I'd like to think. Because my kids are very well disciplined. Your two kids are very beautiful for number one. But they have no self-respect. They are so bad. They bad as hell. They run you. They run you. You wish that your kids can have the discipline like First of all, like, oh my God, the more neck movement someone gets, by the way, the less serious I take them. Like if the, if the way they talk has involves like circular rotations of their neck and their shoulders, and we're not like crunking, we're not like fight dancing, then I just can't take them seriously, generally speaking. Let's talk to the hands. Listen, you talk, fat. You? Do you call her fat? I'm talking to you. Come on over here, you white piece of trash. You don't call me white piece of trash. You're going to call me white piece of trash. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, dude, that ended in the absolute biggest train wreck possible on TV. That was television sanctioned hate crime right there. We think TLC's bad, dude. I think this was TLC. I don't even know. This is awesome now. Holy shit. The Wiggins pulled out on top, by the way, just in case you didn't, you weren't aware. And everybody hates the Felixes, and I'm sure we don't have to even have to worry about them much any, anymore. Oh, Jesus. Anyways, hopefully you guys enjoyed. If you did, go ahead and click this video right here and watch it. Thank you so much. <laughs>